everyone, it's me. So today on my day off, I'm going to finally record my IMAT haul video. And this will be like the fourth time I'm trying, I think fifth time actually, trying to record this video. Um, what I used to do, like the previous takes, is I would show you the product and then talk about it for a little bit. And that obviously was taking way too much time because by the time I was halfway done with my haul, it was already like 20 minutes long or 15 minutes long. So it's just way too long to do that. So what I'm going to do is just show you the products that I bought really fast and just try to get through it as fast as I can. So if you have any detailed questions about any products or you want to see like a full review, just um, leave me a comment or if you just have any questions, just leave me a comment and I'll comment you back or I'll make a video if you really want me to. So yeah, the first booth I went to of course was Makeup Forever and last year the line was an hour and a half long. And I thought that was ridiculous. This year, I waited three hours long, so um, I shouldn't have been complaining yesterday. I guess that's my neighbor. It's kind of weird. Anyway, um, I got mostly stuff for my coworkers. I only really bought some, like a little bit of stuff for myself personally. So the first things that I bought were eyeshadows, and I bought. Let's see. 98 which is a matte 164 which is a matte as well and the last one I bought is 127 which is a satin and then I bought four aqua liners and I bought 0L which is just a matte black 4L which is a plum color um, 2L which is a brown and 1L which is a charcoal with shimmers so these are really good and then the last thing I bought for Makeup Forever for myself is a Smoky Lash Mascara and this is amazing I absolutely love this mascara so let's see next booth I kinda went to was um, OCC of course and of course I picked up their lip tars and I got four of them the first one I got here is Hush which is the light um, nude color but has like a pink purple tone to it. Um, I got Memento, which is like a deep mauve or a, a lighter mauve color, I guess. Kind of like a darker version of Hush. And then I got, let's see, Divine, which is a bubblegum pink, really bright and really pretty. And last one I got is Pageant, which is a magenta color. Really, really great colors. And then. Let's see. I also picked this up. This is the Z palette. Um, I believe the previous colors were um, just black, pink, and zebra. And this is the newest pattern, which is the cheetah print. So, of course, I had to get that. And this is the large size. And then, let's see. I also went to Perry and, Smi bleh, Perry and Spirit and I bought their show special because I didn't get it last year because I ran out of money. But, um, yeah, so it came with two brush cleanser wipes, or, um, cleaner wipes, sorry. Um, a two fluid ounce, um, spray brush cleaner, sorry. A 16 fluid ounce container of their cleaner. And the little canister that is what it's mostly famous for, in my opinion, with the mesh inside so you can clean lip brushes with a breeze, or as a breeze. I don't even know. I can't even talk anymore. Um, I also went to Crown Brush, and Crown had their own booth, or I mean own mini stage, and they were doing their own kind of like mini classes. And I know Corin and Elisa and Julie were all doing classes there. And during their classes, they would give away brushes and palettes and stuff, so um, a lot of these I got for free. I only really bought like five of them. But, um... Yeah, so the first brush I got, I got was the C143 Deluxe Soft Fan Brush. And mine's kind of dirty because I've been using it lately. So I got that. And then I got my first Badger brush, which is the IB103 Flat Bronzer. And I've heard a lot of good things about these from a lot of different gurus on YouTube. So I'm excited to start using that. And then I also got two of these IB111 Round Angle Blenders which basically looks like a doe foot um, brush. Two of those. And then I bought, or, or I got, I can't really remember which ones I bought myself. 
Um, C415 Deluxe Sable Shader. This is another one of my favorites. I've been using it a lot, as you can tell. But I like that a lot. And then I got this one, which doesn't have a name on it, but it's a Jap it's from the Japanese Syntho Collection, and it's a dual-ended, um, I want to say, concealer brush. And then another one from that same collection is this little fan brush, which I think is good for removing glitter, is what Corin said. But I use it to remove mascara, so... You know, I could always use them for different things. I bought two of these mini smudger brushes. And again, they don't have a name. And I bought one of these, like, extra small ones. And this is the C213 Chisels Mini Smudger. And here's the comparison to the first smudger I bought. So significantly smaller. And then I also bought two of these, like, reverse retractable um, lip brushes. I think it's reverse because you actually pull it to make it pop out, I guess. So this one's already dirty. There's lip tars on it, but yeah. So I bought two of those. And then I also bought a brush belt. I'm so excited. I finally got a brush belt. And um, it has, of course, you know, the adjustable strap and the buckle and all that. But mine has Corn and Elisa's signatures. So there's Elisa's um, message to me, and then Corin's. So that's really exciting. Makes mine more unique than everyone else's brush belts, you know? And um, let's see what else. Oh, I also got this brush there, too. I think Elisa, I think, was the one that gave this to me. And this is a, a pink kabuki, a retractable kabuki brush. It's really, really cute because it's pink. Ooh. There you go. And then, let's see. Oh, I also bought this at Crown, too. Little disposable um, spatula wands thing. I think they're spatula, sorry. Okay, and then at NYX Cosmetics, I only bought one thing. I know. I only bought one jumbo eye pencil and yogurt. I really did not need any more NYX Cosmetics anything, because I have way too much makeup as it is. And I already hoarded a lot right now, so, you know. I'd be in trouble. Um, Urban Decay was there exhibiting, but they weren't selling anything. They were just um, previewing some of their, you know, upcoming palettes, like the Naked palette and the Good Karma brushes, as well as um, the False Lashes. There we go. That's the other thing. And what they were doing was they were um, accepting sign-ups, I guess, to their newsletter, like Pro Artist Newsletter. And to sign up for it, you get... Like, once you sign up, you get a free gift, which is either, like, an eyeshadow, a lip liner, or um, a cream to... I forget what they call their product, but it's a cream to powder foundation. And um, some people are getting, like, all three. Some people are only getting one. I personally only got one. I didn't want to be greedy and say, hey, how come the other one got one? Or two. But um, I, bas I just got one, and I got the eyeshadow. And this is Free Love. Kind of reminds me of... The, of um, max expensive pink so let's see oh yeah there we go expensive pink free love very similar hmm, maybe I should have gotten another one oh well it's okay it's free so um yeah it's all I got and then let's see um let me go through this bag I bought let's see I'll show you my bag. This thing is just full of makeup. Okay, I went to this booth where they were selling um, dollar lashes, and that's really, really exciting because they're 100% human hair, and you can't beat dollar lashes. I mean, I have the e.l.f. ones, and those aren't as good quality. These are probably much, much better. So, um, yeah, so the first one I got is number 66. Oh, and the company is um, Miss Adoro. So, yeah, number 66. Number one, number 747 small. The small refers to the length of the um, hairs itself, not the band. Um, number 601, number 505, number 507, whoa. Number 46, number 99, 
number 138, and number 600. So I got 10 lashes, and then let's see what else is in here. You can see my PlayStation controller. I'm such a loser. Um, Nailene was also an exhibitor, but they weren't selling anything as well. They were just um, giving away samples, and this was our sample. I can't believe this is a sample. It's a French tip pen kit, and it's a full kit. And I can't believe they gave that to me for free. That's exciting. And then, let's see. This other company was also giving away samples, and it was, I think it's pronounced Pavonia. And they're a skincare company. And let's see. They gave me four little samples, and one's a Refining Marine DNA Cream. I can't even read that. Um, let's see. Age-defying marine collagen cream. I can't read that. Um, C. Evolutive eye gel. Not quite sure what that's for. And a hydrating cleanser. So, that's exciting. I'm not quite sure what half of them do, but for free, I will find out myself. Alright, let's see what I have left. Oh! The rest of this stuff is from the Guru Summit. If you guys went, you know how exciting it was at the end with the giveaways. But I had a lot of fun at their summit, so I'm really glad I went because I learned a lot about the gurus, you know. I also, what is this? I got a sample of this Glamour Doll eyeshadow, and it's a Bella Twy shadow in Just Bitten, apparently. I guess it's like a little pigment sample. Hmm. See how that works. I've never used these before. I don't think I got this at the summit. I think some girl gave this to me while I was in line at Maker Forever, actually. Okay, but at the Guru Summit, they were doing giveaways. Or not giveaways. They were, um, they had little, like, goodie bags for everyone that came. And the first goodie bag was from NYX Cosmetics. And it has a trio. Let's see what it is. It is TS35, um, which is ultra chic. Whoa. Brushes everywhere. And I guess they're just iridescent shadows. Yeah. Iridescent shadows to put on top of other shadows. Ooh, this one's not very pigmented. But, uh, yeah. Kind of cool. So there's that. And then Urban Decay gave us a bag as well. And actually, I don't know how many of you guys actually read the little flyer in here. This baggie is actually a TSA approved makeup bag. Instead of using, you know, like a Ziploc bag to, you know, um, conform to the regulations, I guess. She, I think her name's Wendy, I forget. She invented this bag, which is a more like cute not so tacky looking Ziploc bag for your makeup I guess and it feels a lot better like it's not it, you know how Ziploc bags are they're not that sturdy this is like really thick plastic it's crazy but um, inside they also gave us some goodies and they gave us a 24-7 eye pencil and I got mildew I think everyone got different like color schemes so this is the one that I got and then I also got these two shadows which are Stalker which is just like a really shimmery purple and Uzi which is just like a platinum kind of color very shimmery so those are really pretty and then the last thing I have to show you well I guess not last thing I see some more things I forgot to tell you guys about but um the most exciting thing I came away with at from IMADS and the Summit was um, actually this. I won one of the giveaways with like, you know, the raffle tickets, and I won this, and this is the Cover, Ex Cover FX Pro Kit. And um, I remember I was watching Purse Buzz's video about the giveaway, the giveaway stuff that they were going to have, and I was so excited. I'm like, oh, I really want to win this, because I keep having to buy foundations for my clients. I keep buying, um, some Revlon Colorstay foundation. It's like getting to be costly to keep buying them. 
So the cool thing is, in this kit, it comes with a bunch of these um, conceal concealer slash foundations. And I think there's, let me count how many is in here. This is five in my hand. Here's five more. There's 12. So 12 of these concealer foundation things. And there's also this translucent powder in light. And this is huge. Oh my gosh. And then a mattifying, oh sorry, matte FX, which is an oil absorbing primer and blotting powder in light as well. comes with a pretty puff that says FX and that is the color that's really cool and then um, a nourishing foundation primer anti-aging serum and a makeup cleansing solution sens for sensitive face and eyes I want to see what this looks like oh ooh, this looks cool It's one of those vacuum, I think it's one of those vacuum pumps, you know what I'm talking about, where this goes up as it, uh, as the liquid decreases. That's cool. Let's see what this one looks like. Oh, there we go. This is the foundation primer. Alright. And then there's also a brush in here, which is number 160. See if I can open this. Ooh, it's a very stubby brush. Very soft. Ooh, wow. So that's exciting. So I got all of those. And thank you so much, Cover Effects. I know you guys were the ones that sponsored these giveaways. So thank you, thank you, thank you. As well as um, Elisa for contacting the company in the first place. Um, I forgot to mention this, it's kind of small, but I also bought one of these mixing palettes um, at IMATS. I think I got this at Nigel's. I want to say it was either Nigel or Friends, I forget. But I bought. I think it was Friends now that I think about it. So I got that. And then I also got Ray Morris's book. I've been searching for this book forever. It's been sold out all the borders around me and I've... I talk, when I told Ray Morris this, she said that it's because, you know, they, in Australia, because she's from Australia, she says that they didn't think it would do as well in America, and apparently it is, so <laughs> it's been sold out, and it's really hard to find, so I'm really glad I picked it up there, and then um, she also signed it, so I'm really glad I got to meet her and stuff. She's really nice. She's really pretty, too. She has amazing clothes. I saw her both days, Saturday and Sunday, and her outfits were so cute. So, um, yeah, that's basically all I bought from IMATS. I'm just making sure I didn't miss anything. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> it seems like it's a lot to me, but I'm sure it's not too crazy. Right? No, I'm kidding. So, uh, yeah, so like I said, if you ever want to see any, like, detailed, um, reviews or anything about these products, just leave me a comment and I will get back to you. So yeah, so I'll see you guys later, bye.